everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to show you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can just skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. This week we only have new information on Steam Watchers and Hell the Last Saga, so let's get to it. Today for Steam Watchers, we just wanted to share some screen captures from Leo's live Q&A last week where he unboxed the game for the Watchers there. You'll be able to find a link to the video in the description below. So enjoy! Vikings, starting today, we want to keep you more clearly informed on the progress in development and production of Hell the Last Saga. So let's look at a snapshot of the project in the form of a summary table. This document will be updated and published every month, so keep an eye out for that. The headings in the first column represent all the songs of the saga, plus a special booklet, the Night Book, which houses all the secrets, visions, and other narrative fantasies which are outside the songs. The number in the parentheses counts the number of scenarios per song, also represented by a box in each line. Green represents a validated state, yellow, a work in progress, and red, a task that has not been started or simply is pending. The game design column represents scenarios that have been validated after extensive internal testing from the mechanical and balancing standpoints. The writing column represents validated narrative which forms the saga booklet and the fluff text for the fate cards. Validation also includes external proofreading because as we employ multiple authors, we need to make sure there are no redundancies in terms and check for consistency in style and meaning. The external playtesting column encompasses testing from the final layout conducted by a sample of external players, 10 teams per language, including at least one or two solo players, as well as the revisions that will inevitably follow. As soon as the items in this column turn green, it means that all feedback has been analyzed, processed, and integrated into the revisions, and that the corresponding song is fully validated, laid out, and ready for printing in its language. The narrative structure of the saga is articulated around four acts. To finalize the game, we are aiming for a chronological, continuous playtest campaign. As you can see, only Act 1 is finalized on our side, as there are still some game design or narration touch-ups in progress for Act 2 and 3. The required touch-ups are delaying the start of the test, while Act 4 is undergoing a major overhaul and Song 13, a single but large piece, 
will be written only at the end. As soon as the playtest of Act 1 is validated, the same players will be able to go on with the rest of the game because during their tests, our teams will have had time to finalize the following songs. We have three development teams, each in charge of an act, but we also had to create a special team in charge of balancing and narrative continuity between the different songs, which is the most difficult part of this project's puzzle. Concerning translations, this snapshot only presents the state of the game in French. We can't consider any translation until the external playtest of an entire act is validated. Of course, as soon as Act 1 is validated in playtest, we will launch and add dedicated translation columns in this table, as well as a new playtest column. Playtests in the translated language will be mainly aimed at tracing typos, since all gameplay considerations will have initially been set in French. Now, we previously explained that we hoped to send the project into production by the end of June, but if we're going to have an extensive playtesting campaign, this is impossible, and we are sorry. This is the first time we've started such a large campaign, and despite the experience we gained on Solomon Kane, we clearly underestimated the size of the task, given this is an entirely new style of writing, not inspired, based on, or even taken from existing material like the R.E. Howard short stories. With the current pace in mind, which will accelerate as soon as a team is released from the act they're working on to reinforce the team for the next act, a fall production launch seems more likely. For a final estimate of when you'll receive the game, we must consider the new manufacturing delays that have globally lengthened in China to as much as two to three months once a slot is booked. This will most likely lead to a delivery early next year. It's simply too difficult for us to do better at this point because our only objective is to deliver a quality game. Your unflagging interest and boundless curiosity constantly encourages us to surpass ourselves in this goal, and we want to make sure we exceed your expectations too. Thank you all for your support and your understanding. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what he might spoil. But that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games, and while you're at it, we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>